Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm on the beach. I'm looking for razor clams. I've got some salt. Let's go. So as I'm walking around, I'm looking for keyhole shapes in the sand. I'm looking for little holes that are in the shape of almost a figure of eight. And to extract them, I'm using salt. Just table salt. What you need to do is find that keyhole shaped hole, pour a little bit of salt over the top, and then see what happens. I'll show you. And there we go. That's how you catch a razor clam. When it comes to looking for razor clams, you want a beach that's fairly sheltered, away from the prevailing winds and the big waves coming in. So over here, there's lots of waves coming in from the southwest. This beach is facing away from the southwest, so what we're talking, we're talking northeast. That is exactly where you want to look, well, down here in Dorset especially, for, and here we are, I think I've just found one for a keyhole shaped hole. So I'm gonna place my salt right there and you can see right there, there's a hole. Now, if I pour some salt into this hole, what we should hopefully see within the next 15 seconds is some movement. The movement we're looking for is water, a jet of water pushing up, trying to extract that salt away from the hole and it will eventually pop, up, pop out of the sand. Sometimes you have to wait a few minutes, other times you get them within seconds. So I think this one might be one of those where we just have to wait. So what I'll do is I'll just mark it like this with my finger and then I'll come back to it in a few minutes. In the meantime, we'll keep looking for another hole, another keyhole shaped hole. And there you are, razor clam. Simply look for the figure of eight hole, pour some salt on it, be a little bit patient, and there you go. All you need now is about 10 more. The thing is, no matter how many holes you salt, you don't always get them all. So tonight I'm actually camping on the beach with a few friends. We've got fishing rods, we've got lots of bait. We've even been digging for bait as well. Bait wise, lugworm and ragworm. This beach is plentiful when it comes to the food, whether it's for us to eat or the fish to eat. I think I've just found a keyhole. Remember, it's the keyhole shape or the figure of eight. That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna pour some salt right on it. Right, well as I was saying, you don't always get one in every hole that you, you salt. But you never know till you try. So what happens is when you pour a mound of salt over the hole, the salt sinks down, hits the razor clam, and the razor clam's going, hey, I don't like that, and they push straight up to try and get rid of it. They often squirt water as well, and that's when they poke up through the sand, which is when you grab them, hold on tight, because they have this foot underneath, and the foot goes like that, it pulls the shell down, it goes down, and it, well, that's the only way I can describe it. 
Let's get another one though, because they're great fun to catch. So this is a classic example of what happens sometimes when you think there's a razor clam, you put salt over the hole, you then walk away after 30 seconds thinking, actually, I was probably wrong, that wasn't a razor clam. I've just walked past this one and have a look. There we are. There's our razor clam. <laughs> We're gonna be cooking these tonight. Once again, tonight will be a catch and cook. I'm here with a few friends. We've got some fishing rods. Let's find some more. And there's another one. Brilliant. So that's two in the last 30 seconds just from retracing my footsteps. Nope, nothing in that one. Found another. As I'm walking around, I can see that there's lots of these. These are the casts from lugworm. They're basically just sand. Down there, there'll be a lugworm. They usually live in a U-shaped burrow. And right there, there's a leftover of a small baby clam. There's so much life on this beach, it's incredible. Right there as well. And that foot there, that's what it uses to pull itself back down into its hole in the sand. You can see it pushes down, it'll grip like a fist, and then it will try to pull the muscle, or the, well, the shell, all the way back down. But I think he's a bit tired now he's been out. He might be a bit salty as well. As I'm staying down here tonight, I need some more bait. I've got some lugworm which I've dug off the beach and now turning over a few rocks to try and get some crabs. So we can use some crabs as a bait. Oh, oh, oh. there we are right there. There's one there and one there. And that there we'll use as bait for tonight and another. So I've got this bag. In fact, it's a group effort. We've all found quite a few. That's our group there and that's where we're camping tonight. There are a few of us. We have been collecting now for about, I don't know, half an hour or so. And you can see we've actually managed to find quite a few of these razor clowns. So that's it. That's what we've managed to find today down here on the beach, just using salt, and that's about it. So once we've given these a clean, we'll then prepare them and then we'll be cooking them up tonight over the fire.
Well, we didn't really get to film much last night. We just got involved in a bit of food and a few beers as well. Really, really good time. We did a bit of fishing as well. We did catch a few fish. I didn't manage to, fi to film it though. We caught two fish. One was a small conger eel and the other fish was a small bass. The bass wasn't very big, wasn't above the legal size limit. That's why it went back. But one thing I did enjoy was the food. Those razor clams were really nice. They were smoked over heather and the heather was collected just from just over there in the sand dunes. And then Lee turned up with a lamb rump, which was great. That was real tasty as well. So we're just packing away. It's quite a long walk all the way from down there, all the way up there to the car park. Thanks again for watching the video. It was just a small introduction to how you can collect razor clams, not only use them for bait, but to cook with them as well. I think next time I'll cook them slightly different. I'll put a bit more preparation into cleaning them, removing the gut sack to remove all that grit, all the sand. However, they were really tasty with a bit of butter as well and some lime squeezed over them. Hey, they weren't too bad. But thanks again for watching the video. If you can please give the video a thumbs up, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.